There's no misunderstanding. There's no misunderstanding. We had a talk. There was no misunderstanding where I, I didn't tell her about the affair. Okay. I didn't. That, that was the misunderstanding. But you're miscommunicating. Yeah, misunderstanding. Yeah. Good. But I probably should have told her right then. Honestly. I mean, everything was out on the table anyways. Right. I should have told her right then. But I didn't because I, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. What was your plan? What were you going to do? How was your separation going to work? Like, once we got separated, I would get my own place and then we, I mean, 50 50 split with the kids, that's what I was hoping. Mm-hmm. What about Nikki? Take it slow and see if, you know, if anything develops, like, when I'm you know, at my own place. Okay. Is any kind of hard to hear you talk about because having this emotional, you know, conversation with Shanann and you're bawling and crying together and you have not shed one tear in two days that you've been here. No. Not one. And I help me understand that because I don't get it. You're these are your baby girls. And you have not shed one tear over them not being around. Chris, I, I, I lose my four-year-old in the store for 10 seconds and I start to go panic. Panic. I have not seen any of that from you at all. Help me understand that. I love one girl. I, I would never do any of this because I haven't shed a tear. You get yeah, it, uh, that's weird. Uh, Is that uh, weird? Uh, don't, don't look into that. Like, I don't love my kids. Tell me, my explain wife. to me. You're, you're crying with your wife that you're leaving her. Yeah. But you don't cry that you're two little baby girls. I'm hoping they're still around somewhere. I'm hoping they're still somewhere. Dude, you don't have them right now. You're not reading stories to them at night. I know. You're not giving them midnight snacks. You're not giving them their medicine. You're not waking up with them in the morning. I know this. Like I So that should cause you pain. It does cause me pain. But I don't see that. I don't see that. I want to I, see the Chris that cares. I want to see the Chris that, you know, feels bad about what he did and wants to, you know, get this off his chest and be done with this and let us find your little girls so that they're not out there in the middle of a field or whatever somewhere. Okay. Like don't do that. I, I love little girls to death. Then show us that. Show us that. Show us this, Chris. I'm not, not this, Chris. I'm not. I'm not showing you that, Chris. I'm. I'm showing you the Chris that cares by his girl and his wife. Just because I haven't shed a tear shouldn't make you feel like I haven't. That the love isn't there for them. It's weird. It doesn't I'm, make I'm, sense. I understand that. You, you have to. I. I. I, I yeah. totally see where you're coming from. Trust me, like there's nothing. I, just because I. Chris, I, people can be pushed to the point where. They do something that they regret. It happens every single day. I don't know. But part of what makes you a man is the guy that goes really fucked up. But this is what I did, and I'm going to pay for what I did. And I'm going to tell you what I did, and I'm going to be honest about it. Chris, we can keep talking to you once we find these girls, okay? So once we find these girls in your life, right, no matter how we find them, no matter what condition they're in, we can keep talking to you and you can tell us, guys, it's not as bad as it looks. And you can say, let me tell you what happened. I was never comfortable with you, Graham, or with you, Tamna. I wasn't comfortable yet. But now that everything's known, now that these girls are found and Shanann's found, however they're found, it's okay. We can keep talking to you. Okay. Chris, did Shanann do something to them? No, I don't know. I'm curious. I have no clue. So if you want to know, they didn't leave the house. Like, did Shanann do something to them, and then did you feel like you had to do something to Shanann? <laughs> they were at the house when I left. They were there. They weren't there. They didn't leave. They vanished. The only way they could have left is in your truck. There's no way, because like, I didn't just throw them in my truck. Okay. You know your truck has GPS, yes. right? Yes. 
Because you told your boss, like, yeah. hey, I'm going to celebration, maybe staying yeah. at a friend's house, whatever. You know that thing pings every 10 seconds? Yeah. So we will know exactly where you went. And your company's giving that to us. Okay. Were you asking the right question, Chris? Yeah. You're asking all the questions. All the questions. What are we not asking you right? What, what are you doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. Did she make something? She did everything that you did. We both love them with all our heart. There's no way. It was an accident. Something happened in the house that you know about. You said it was a polygraph test, right? This is not about did you leave and your wife vanished and you didn't know anything about it. That was not what you were asked, okay? okay? We know that something happened to all three of us. But I want to know did something happen to these baby girls first that you had to take into your own hands and deal with? You had to clean it up for Shanann. Chris, don't tell us. There's something that happened to these baby girls. I was watching videos. We have no doubt you love these girls with all of your heart. Have no doubt. But we make mistakes. That's okay. Just what we do with those mistakes that make us who we are. I feel like you cleaned up for her. I feel like that's the type of guy that you are. Which one of you has the breathing thing? Well, they both have the hairs, but she, she has the uh, DOE. And it's just with us like the guys. She has problems breathing? Probably like with her allergies and whatnot, like if she had anything nice, but she just had his home with the endoscopy and she had the same surgery that I told you about. Do you think she had trouble breathing that night? And she had freaked out? And didn't want to live without her baby girl? Do you hear about the homicide that happened in your war with the guy? Beat that family to death with a ball pin hammer. Mm -hmm. The only person that survived was a three year old sibling. And that sibling grew up to be a little mess. No family, no mom and dad, no brother or sister. She lived by herself. She said, I wish I could have died with them. And there are times that people freak out. I've seen it. I mean, I've been in mom for almost 20 years. I've seen it. Parents freak out and they're like, oh my God, like, I can't have my baby girls live without each other. They're best friends. They're like twins. They're, you know, they wake each other up in the morning. And I understand that. We had a girl in Castle Rock that suffocated both her baby girls. She's like, I just, my husband was going to take them. And she's like, I just couldn't, just couldn't handle I thought I was doing right by them. I thought I was saving them pain. And I get it. Why? Why was she saving the pain? She didn't want them to have to live without the mom. Chris has had to wait for him to be for the rest of your life until we even know it tonight. Unless we can talk about this more tonight, we're going to call you forever. I promise you, when we start talking about this, you will feel better. I know you already feel better about getting the Nikki off your chest. Please don't, please don't invite 
help her in the beginning and like that. She can do that. She's gonna help me. I know. Chris, we're giving you a lifeline right now. You need to take it. You need to reach out and take it. Did we go on Facebook tonight? The last night you were with him. She had that dress on, like, from the date or night. It was a miss. But she had that dress on. I remember I had uh, two buttons on the back. And take them off so they were down the one that night. Did you guys make sure they were warm when you went to the house? And make sure they were warm. And they're, they're always warm. They're, they always have, when they're in the bed, they're always warm. She had like messed around on her face, all that, and we couldn't 